Let me just preface this by saying that I understand your situation, you know, with your ex and your kids, and I know that it's really hard. Abby. Really hard. I know you do. You've been great. You spent two nights at home, and that's concerning. Concerning? Yeah, and never mind the fact that you actually called it home, which is unsettling. Um, what should I have called it? Colette's uh, house? I, I don't really uh, know what you should call it, and please don't be glib. This is, I'm really serious about this. I can tell, and I'm not being glib. I don't even know where you're at in your divorce. Have you guys even filed? We're in it. We're taking a break, a short one, just till things calm down. Calm <laughs> down. Well, well that, that can be a little bit of a wait. Can you back off a minute? I just moved out. No, you didn't. You rented a box with a bathroom where you could have fun with your girlfriend. That's not fair. No, it is not fair to either one of us. Look, Mike, you're in the weeds. You know, it's crazy time. When, when Jake left, somebody said to me, I should just write off the next year because people going through a divorce are certifiable. For some people. Not me. Oh, really? Because you you disappear, you hide things from me, Colette texts you like 20 times a day. These things take time, you know that. Yes, and when I was where you're at, I destroyed a man. You know, Jake and I got back together and then Colette we and I are over. We're over. Is that all this is about? All? Jesus, Mike, don't minimize this. You don't even talk to me. You don't tell me how you feel. I'm sad. I'm so goddamn sad. I know. And I want to help you and I want to fix it and I can't. You know, I just got out of crazy time, and you're about to go through it, and you you can't not Abby, go through don't crazy do this. Time. Don't spook. What you and I have is good. It's great. It's, it's rare. And that's why we should stop. Now. <laughs>